Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we're going to be checking out the Sims 4 Cozy Bistro Kit, which is one of the two build kits that dropped today. Uh, usually there's a screen that pops up to tell us a little bit about the kit, but it didn't show up today for some reason. I'm not sure if that's related to the latest patch, but uh, I did go ahead and go over to the kits area and pull this up. And this is what we're looking at. Stop into a captivating little hole in the wall and take in the amorous ambience of the Sims 4 Cozy Bistro Kit. The welcoming awnings, classic furniture, and inviting atmosphere of this collection set the scene for an elegant evening spent sipping nectar either with friends or as part of a romantic rendezvous. Kit features. A neighborhood favorite. Craft a space that's all about good nectar and great company. Decorate with all the trappings of a treasured local bistro, including wood paneled walls, polished metal accents, and vintage furniture that has been beautifully maintained. Nectar bar stories. Serve the finest nectar by night and the richest coffee by day. Fill your bistro with candlelight and classic decor to create the perfect spot for Sims to connect with friends or dates. And then we have a sneak peek at some of these items, which I'm going to pop into game now to look at. And if you're thinking about purchasing this kit or any pack, please consider using my code Griffey at checkout in the EA app. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it's a nice way to support me as a creator. So thank you for considering. And thank you to EA for that creator code. So thank you for sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, I am in a random lot here in Windenburg and we're gonna take a look at everything. Let's go ahead and filter by... Cozy Bistro. It looks like we have a new wallpaper called the Bistro Bliss wallpaper. And it looks like this. That is so pretty. I really love the detailing, both on the actual wallpaper, but also the paneling. Let me get rid of a couple of lights so we can see it a little bit better. It's getting a little bit blown out, but uh, that is gorgeous. And it looks like we have quite a few swatches to go with it. Oh my gosh, that pink one. Ooh, the black and gold. We have like a black and white. The red is really pretty. These are really nice swatches. I like that one quite a bit. Some deeper woods. Nice redwood. Ooh, the green. Yes, a nice blue one here. A couple of blue swatches it looks like. And uh, a nice cream one. That's really pretty. We also got a new floor. This is the Gilded Decadence Tile. Oh, that is so pretty. Ooh, look at these swatches. I hope some of them don't have gold in them, but I have a feeling they're all going to because that's kind of the style, but uh, I feel like it'd be more usable in more builds if they didn't all have gold. But that could just be personal preference since I'm not a huge fan of gold, but I think this is really pretty and it's gonna be super useful in community lots, especially this one. All right, moving on to doors and windows. Oh my gosh. We have an open and closed version of a door. They're, they're two different doors, but these are gorgeous. Wow. I love the like signage on the glass as well. We have a lot of really pretty colors here. That is so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to build something with this. Uh, nothing for the other wall heights. Looks like we do have a matching window though. This one right here should be in all of the same swatches. Yes. Yeah, these are, these are stunning. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. And then there's an awning to go with this, which very pretty. I'm always happy to get more awnings in the game. I was actually recently building something that I really wished I had an awning for. Uh, so I am very glad to have some more of these. Oh, these are so nice. I like how simple that is with just the writing on the front. We have like the little lights underneath. Very cute. Oh yeah, look at the glow of it at night. All right, moving on to our items. We have the quintessential bistro chair. Oh, I love this. I feel like this is a chair I've actually wanted in the game for a really long time. It's such a simple piece that I feel like I see all the time in real life. So I'm very happy to have this. It looks a little bit strange, like it's not too smooth here, but I still really like it. So I'm gonna try not to look too closely at that. Uh, we do have a vintage Velvet's dining booth. Oh my gosh, that is massive. No, the table doesn't go to it. <laughs> We'll look at the table in a minute, but this is a really pretty booth. You could definitely use this as a couch as well. I think it's technically just a couch. The swatches are nice. What does the back look like if you were to use it as a couch? Yeah, you totally could. Oh, this is so pretty. I really like that. Uh, here is the table to go with these chairs. Looks like the tablecloth is going over part of the table, which is really cute. And we have a variety of different like swatches on the table as well as the tablecloth. It looks like we have this really cute gingham one here. Oh, this is really cute. I really like that. Next up, we have a display shelf that looks like this. Always happy to have some more shelves in the game. Ooh, I really like how simple that one is. Got all the same swatches that we're seeing in everything else. Very cute. Next up is the Trattoria Barback Small. So we have a small barback and a large barback. So you have options, which I think is quite nice. 
Uh, you could probably use this as just like a nice kitchen piece, honestly. Very, very cute. And I like the details on this one with all of the clutter with the wine down here and the jars up there. This is very, very nice. Big fan of those. Next up is the Bistro Bar. I love the style of this one. The details. Let's look behind it. Wow. This is so pretty. You can make some really high-end looking builds with this. Oh, I'm so excited to build with this. Okay. Actually, if you'd like to join me, I'm going to be over on twitch.tv slash Griffey tonight, and we're going to be building with both of the new kits. Uh, so make sure you come hang out there at 6 p.m. Eastern if you'd like to join me. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. And also stay tuned on the channel because sometime later today, I will also have a built-in by overview of the other kit, which is the, the Riviera Retreat kit. But moving on to our vintage vignettes, I'm actually really excited about this because I'm always looking for more paintings in the game and these are beautiful. Do you see these pieces of art? I'm going to be using these constantly. Yes, they are perfect for a bistro, but like you could use these in a lot of different builds. Oh, they are so pretty. I love these. That one, <gasps> that's gorgeous. And that's all of them. Oh my goodness. I think this is my favorite one. Yes. We also have a foodies focus mirror. Oh, that is really pretty. I like this. All the same swatches. I love the details on the mirror. It does feel like something you would see like behind the bar. I really like that. There's also some table side lace curtains, which I assume are to go over these little windows if you have a table by there. Yeah, that fits perfectly there, but these could be really nice in a kitchen. I feel like this is the type of curtain I usually put over a kitchen window. Oh my gosh, the detail on that. The pattern really shines on the black swatch, but in general, this is really, really pretty. I quite like that. Then we have the Intimate Divider, which is a really pretty item. I could see it being used in spaces like this, either dividing the bar space or a couple of booths. I love the glass and how it's a little bit dirty. I think that's such a cool touch. And of course, all of the different swatches to match everything we've seen so far. This is really, really pretty. This is the Notable Nectar Rack, which hangs from the ceiling. Let me see if I can actually lower our wall height here to get a better view of it. Looks like we have lots of nectar hanging from here. This is really nice. I feel like recently we got another hanging item like this uh, from the Home Chef Hustle Pack. We have like a kitchen piece like this. So having one for bars as well, I think is really nice. There's also a sentimental bottle of nectar, just like a nice decorative bottle of nectar or wine. We also have a table for two menu. Oh, this is cute. Let me actually put it on the table. A menu, a couple of glasses and some flowers in a variety of swatches. It's nice to have an option to put on a table other than that little menu from Dine Out now. So I feel like I'm gonna be using this quite often. It's very cute. We have a veranda menu panel, which I believe is made to look like it's part of this whole setup. I like that so much. It's slightly a different size, it looks like. Like from the side, it pokes out a little bit more, but uh, you could have a menu that blends into the windows. Oh, that is so nice. It would look good on the inside as well. But yeah, all of the same swatches that we've been seeing in the menu changes across a lot of them. Some of it's a full menu, some of it's just like some text. Like this one clearly looks more like a menu and that's a view of it inside. With that, there's also a bistro sign, which would probably go on the outside of the building. I'm always happy to get some more signs in the game. Oh my goodness, this is really nice. I like how some of these are really simple too, particularly this like cream swatch, that's really pretty. To match the dining chair we had, we also have a bar stool that matches that you can put on the bar here. Very cute and simple. And it should have all of those same swatches we saw before to match everything. It does. The Bongiorno Drip Coffee Maker. I don't think we have a counter to put this on, so let me grab one. All right, on a base game counter now. This is a cool coffee maker. This looks a lot like what I have in my kitchen, so I really like this. It's a little bit blurry right here but I'm still really happy to have a new coffee maker that looks different than the ones we have in the game. That's really nice. And then our last few items are actually some lighting. So we have this little lamp here, which is quite cute. Some simple metal swatches here, nice and simple. There's also a matching pendant light that looks like this. I assume it'll have the same swatches. I think this is a pretty nice light. It's got some nice detail, but it's not too complicated. I feel like it's fairly simple. And then a wall sconce that matches as well. Might move this outside to get a better view. There are the swatches of that. And I believe that is everything that comes with the cozy bistro kit. 
I'm gonna double check, but I think that's everything. It appears to be. So I'm gonna play around with this and probably build something that you'll see in the thumbnail. And uh, as I mentioned, I will be live over on Twitch tonight if you'd like to join me for some building with these new kits. And if this was helpful and you're considering purchasing this kit, please consider using my code on that EA app, Griffey. You can just enter that at checkout and it will give me a small portion of the purchase. It's a really cool way to support creators. A lot of creators have these codes now. So I just thought I would mention it if you are so inclined. And with that, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I hope to see you tonight night on Twitch. Let me know what you're thinking of this kit and I will talk to you all in the comments. Bye everyone.